Pierre, let me tell you something that's that's you know you you probably gonna laugh your ass out, bro. What's up? You talking about clapping cheeks? <laughs> clapping, <laughs> bro. Let me show cheeks you something because you you're not gonna believe it. I'm gonna see. Let me see if I can try to if I can try to play that shit. Listen to this, all right? The Buffalo Bills came through and put up. <laughs> on the office, boy. Yo, I don't know if you guys ever heard that clapping cheek. Boy, them cheeks were clapping today. <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Cause them boys put a clapping on them dolphins. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let's roll, them big fella. That right there was boy. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all ever hear that sound? If mom and dad are in the bedroom, and y'all hear that sound, it's because daddy's getting busy. And guess what? Daddy got busy with the Dolphins today. 70 points on the Broncos? Are you kidding me? Welcome to playing a real football team, man. Yes. Ooh, let's go, man. I had to play that. So when, you saw, when you put that, I was like, no, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way. He doesn't know that is that. That came out of nowhere. That was beautiful. That shit came out of nowhere, man. We clapped Yo, them a game kids, like that is absolutely beautiful, man. Because, again, all week we've been hearing, Yo, watch out for the Dolphins. Dolphins offense is amazing. And we kept on trying to tell you, our defense isn't what everybody else's defenses is, right? So it's like, you know, huge respect to the Bills. We put a clapping on that ass. Bro. Sheesh. You know what? That, that game felt like it was personal. Didn't it? It, did. it felt like it was personal today. I don't know what it is, man. I think McDermott was like, yo, these boys, like, there's an integrity in this game. And I feel that maybe he's like, yo, they put 70 on Peyton, and they probably think they're about to do the same thing to us. We're going to send a message today. Two ain't going to do what he normally does. No way, no how. Tyreek Hill kept under 60 yards. Come on. Hey, man. that was a hell of a win. <laughs> I mean, just like you saying, all week, it was like, it's like the Bills are the underdog. You know, that's like kind of like the narrative in the media, like that that we're the ones trying to catch up. How are we the ones trying to catch up all week? Bingo. All we proved week. it. We proved it that we're Man. the big dogs. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. First of all, Josh out. Bro. Bro, J.A. was on it today. I'm actually a fan right now of what this new offense is, right? Because we're not taking as many shots, but it's like, if we want to, it's almost always there now. And that's a beautiful that's thing. It, it's like, and there's, there's trust in this Dorsey offense. Yeah. There's trust. Like Josh Allen trusts Dorsey and Dorsey says, you need to trust me. I'll get you your numbers. I can still make you MVP top quarterback, and we can still do the things we need to do. Establish a run, and you will still get your business off. Man, loved it. I didn't know we were going to put 48, though. I did. I try to tell y'all. I try to tell every last one of y'all. I even put it out there to make sure everyone heard what the hell I was trying to say. <laughs> I would be surprised if we didn't put up 40. That's how bad this defense has been. I've been trying to tell y'all. And we yeah, could have easily it. put up 70 if we wanted to. Huh, Bobby? <laughs> we could have easily done yeah. it. But we said, we, you know what? We could have. I'm saying, <laughs> we're done clapping the cheeks. We done already busted. Let's go ahead and say, you know what? <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we're good, big <laughs> fella. Yo, yo I, I'm going to say this, though, man. <clears throat> The defense was, I mean, we'll get back on the offense, but the, listen, let, let's, let's just do this. Let's do this. Sean, Sean McDermott, though, but he came out and put a good game plan together. He put a good game plan together, man, because he, listen, all that hoopla of this and moving this guy over here and doing that, yo, unfazed. This defense was unfazed. Like, yo, we going to let you do what you do. We just got to identify where 10 is. Once we identify 10, Yo, you're going to play right into where we need you to play off. Milano was nice. Freaking Bernard was nice. Yo, the whole defense was cooking. Only unfortunate part, obviously, is Trey White going down. Hey. Yeah, that was big. That was Damn. big. I don't even want to talk about that right now, but I know, I know we're, we're going to bring we'll it up. We'll get there. Yeah. But, yo, McDermott, McDermott really did his thing, man. Today, like, 
he had these boys ready to go. And did you see a drop? I don't know. It doesn't look like it, but was there a drop off between Poirier and Rap? Mm. <laughs> That's a discussion. <laughs> Damn. <you> said, mm-hmm. <laughs> there wasn't much of a drop off. Like, and I, I will say this though, you can definitely tell the difference between having Poyer and another safety and yeah. Hyde and another safety. Oh, good point right there. Hyde, Hyde. I mean, we've always yes. we've always known Hyde is, is a baller. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I think Hyde is what keeps this this defense together. Meaning, and I hate to say it, but Jordan can be interchangeable. And I think they tried to make that Jeez. clear this offseason. Yeah. When they said, yo, go and look for your for your big Damn. deal that you want. You've earned it. And go and look for it. But we think I don't want to say this, but we think I don't want to say washed, but we we know what you your your best days are behind you. And the fact that they brought him back, it was like, all right, well, listen, we're gonna bring you back, but you're not gonna get the money that you think you're gonna get. And then we bring in Taylor Rapp. And then Taylor Rapp comes in and has a decent game. And Micah Hyde comes with a pick. Dude, he's the glue to this defense, man. Beautiful. It's funny, it's funny you say that because, like, did you even notice that Rapp was playing? That could be either a good thing or a bad thing, but I didn't even notice that that Rapp was in the game. Did you even see yeah. his name once? I'm going I'm to keep it real. There was a couple times that I saw him <laughs> on the field, but didn't hear his name often. Like, right, yeah. like where he was making plays. That's a good point, Rico. I never, I never really thought about it like that, right? As far as Hyde being actually the glue back there, then we, you know, that we thought, you know, Poy was going to be, right? So, I mean, I was worried for a quick second because, of course, we know that the safety position is extremely vital for our, our overall defense to perform. Yep. But, yeah, man, I mean, it was, it was a clinic, as they like to say. T- Taylor Rapp today was he had six total tackles, five solo. Solid. He was the second leading tackle on our team today. Sheesh. Damn. And then uh, Micah the Hyde was the third leading tackle on the team. He had four, four solo tackles. So we didn't really see probably impact plays from Taylor Rapp, but we also didn't we didn't have big gashing huge runs. Obviously, Devin A chain with those two killer runs that he made. And they were they were both on the I think one was on the right hand side, and I think Trey White was on the right-hand side. Yeah. So kind of gives you an idea. I'm not saying it was Trey White on Trey White, but Taylor Rapp is known to be a solid tackler. So, yo, shout out. To, yo, this I'm in love with this team, man. This team is is this team is playing lights out on defense, man. Terrell Bernard, I'm so wrong about Terrell Bernard. <laughs> yo, this guy, this guy's nice, man. That interception, <clears throat> if you go back to the interception, Terrell Bernard was trailing uh, Braxton Burials. And because he was trailing behind him, it made Tua have to overthrow to kind of get it over top. And then, boom, Michael Hyde with the interception. Bro, that, I'm not saying it was all, it was all, it was all what's, his, uh, what's his face, but, like, the pressure obviously caused it. But, man, Terrell Bernard, though? <laughs> Yo. I didn't really pay too much attention to the line. I got to, I mean, obviously, you know, when you rewatch the game, yeah, you get to really see what's good. But, did Spencer Brown really have that game on his own? I don't think he was that great. I think when Allen did get hit a bunch of times, like in the pocket, it was because of Spencer Brown. So I don't think he was that great, but I mean, I think he did enough. Let, let's talk about this, though. Looking at the, the, it's still a lingering issue, is his gashing plays on the defense. When Devin H ain't going for like 55 yards. Bro, we have these moments where we're like, yo, it's like we fall asleep at the wheel and we let these guys just gash us. Like these these boys ran for 140 yards. Now, is the 140 yards a fluke because it's yes. one guy that did it? Yo, I love that you just said that because I've been saying that all season. Even week one, it was a fluke. Yeah, you got all the yards, Brees, but you really didn't really do anything. It's the same <laughs> thing this game, right? It's like, yeah, I mean, the yards were there, but we saw the game. I mean, you had a couple runs, but overall... It's like I said this week, the Dolphins offense is really a running offense. If the running game is working, then the entire offense opens up. If you stop the run, they're pretty basic. So, yeah, man, I mean, huge shout out to the team, man. I'm shit. I'm ready, man. I'm super excited for the Because, again, this game right here was our hardest game for a nice little stretch. Right? I don't see us losing a game for at least a few weeks now. So. 
This was a big one. Huge. Yo, you know what? You're not wrong, man. I was just talking about this at the end of the stream there. Bro, <clears throat> like, I had us losing to the Jets the first week, but I had us going on a, on a streak. But then I had us losing in, in London for some reason. Yo, switch that shit around. That's a dub against the Jaguars. <laughs> then we play the Giants, then the Patriots, then Tampa, then the Bengals. I had us losing to the Bengals. Turn that shit around. That's a dub. We, and you know we have to repay those cats. We must repay them cats. Then we got the Broncos. Then the Jets again, and we know we yo, this is primed for us to go and have another double digit season win, which we were gonna have no matter what. But like, yo, it ain't gonna be oh, we might lose to the Bengals. No, 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 no. The way we're playing right now, the way I see these other teams playing, bro. Yo, we we're gonna we we about to be a dominant team this year once again. Once again. Now, and, as for the negatives, though, look at the negatives out the way first. Yo, what would you feel? I know you kind of started it off with the you know, soft coverage, because even, you know, me during stream, I was like, okay, you know, we kind of, it's always tricky because you're playing the Dolphins, right? And you don't want to, you don't want to really press because of their speed. So true. Um, But as far as, as far as negatives, man, is there any more negatives you guys thought? I mean, yeah, I was going to say, I guess that Shakir drop, but I mean, that's, that's really about it. Really. I, I can't think of anything else. Um, What kind of surprised me is how good Murray looked. Latavius Murray, he was eaten. He was eaten for sure. Yeah. But and I mean, apparently, Josh yeah. Allen loves Latavius Murray, loves this guy. So there's there's a connection there, man. I don't know, man. When when these brothers come to this team, they it's like a it's like a whole new it's like a whole new respect. It's like they it's like they they find their youth again. You know what? The, I, I and it still it still pisses me off in the negative is like James Cook. And I'm not even about to say James Cook had a bad game. It's not about that. But I feel like sometimes we don't put him in the best position to, I mean, to get us in great yardage position, right? They Like two or three plays, they had him in shotgun. And they they shut that down right off the bat. I was like, fam, like, get this guy under center. Get, get Josh Allen under center and let this guy run down downhill. So that was the one, the one kind of knock that I had a little bit. But, like, you're not going to have an explosive game all year, every game, every year, right? But... 12 carries for 29 yards, that ain't going to cut it. That ain't going to cut it, man. But he also made up for that on that one reception for 48 yards. So it's nice. But that's the one knock I could say that I was, uh, I, I'm, I'd was. i like him to get, like, I can't have you with the same yardage as Latavius Murray and Damian Harris. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, need to, you need to, like, if you're the number one back, you need to separate yourself between those guys. They can't be just getting, you get more touches and they get the same yardage as you. No, no, they ain't going to work. So Dorsey just has to put him in better position to run that rock, just like he does for those boys. But that's still one knock, I could say. Um, and I, I got to look at those two sacks that Josh took. I think he held the ball too long on one of them. But uh, but you guys are talking about Spencer Brown didn't have a great game, so I, I got to go back and check. Khalil Shakir. Yo, turn around and catch that football, man. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah that turn around and catch that shit. Yeah, that was a dime. That was a it was a down. Yo, turn around and catch that shit. That's an easy one. He tried to do acrobatic. Like, no, it was not necessary for that. Not necessary. But really, not much else. I mean, stood out to me as negative, man. This was actually a pretty damn good game. Like the only negative I would probably say, and it's not really a negative because I understand why we do it. But every single game, it's almost like we allow the other offense to kind of do what they do. Right? You know, you're going to show your hand, and you're most likely going to score your touchdown. So just, just go ahead and get it out the way early, and then we'll kind of know exactly what your game plan is. But I would say on this game, I got worried because normally after we give you that first touchdown, we pretty much shut it down after that. Yep. But the Dolphins were able to come back again, and I'm like, oh. Yes, they did. Man, oh, oh that's a good call. Snap. Good call. Might be a game now. Right? So, you know, but it took us two drives this game to shut it down where, you know, normally it's just, it's just that one drive. So, um, yeah, man. I mean – Listen, huge shout out to the Dolphins for putting up 70 last week. But that was last week. Fuck. <laughs> well, You're not listening. It was varsity versus JV last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, man, a star, an underrated star on this team. Uh -oh. If you think, if you know where I'm going, underrated star on this team, where, where would you think I'm going? This, this brother is playing lights out. An underrated star. 
Underrated star. Hey, hold on. I think I think Bobby might know this one. You talking about Daquan Jones? You know what? That that's a good one. I like that. That's not who you're talking about. Oh, that's, not you're talking about. <laughs> that's not who you're talking about. That's not who you're talking about. He's like, wait a minute. That's not who you're talking about? Nah. <laughs> Leonard Floyd, bro. Yeah. Leonard Floyd is yeah. playing lights out. Yes. Lights out, man. This guy cannot be stopped, bro. Like, you could tell why he was a top 10 player. Yeah. You could tell why he's a top 10 player, man. Golly. When you look at the defensive front, bro, we got Daquan Jones. You got... Jordan Phillips inside. You got AJ Epinesa second round pick. You got uh you got Leonard Floyd, which is a first round pick. You got Ed Oliver, first round pick. You got Shaq Lawson, first round pick. Fam, we got some talent in this bitch. Yo. And, and the one that we signed that was supposed to be a big depth piece has been inactive in Puna Ford. Yeah, Puna Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we've been to it, but Leonard Floyd, Daquan Jones, though, been playing nice. He's been playing nice. They, actually, I saw something funny the other day where I guess they were they're bigging up all these other guys that are being put in pressure. And he had like five pressures last week, but they had a list of five and he, he had number five. Anyways, he couldn't make the full and he, they put him in fine print. He goes, yo, you're going to fine print me. You couldn't put me on the list. So he's watching what people are putting out there. He's watching what they're putting out there. Yo, so, but I think, I think Bobby's you know right though. He's low key having an amazing year. And it's actually a piggyback off of last year because we've never seen a bad day. Quan Jones. Right. It's nope. never been oh snap. You know, we you know, we're looking more at you know what I mean it's like so um, but yeah, as far as Leonard Floyd, it's like he's unstoppable. It's like he's able to get to the quarterback at will at this point. You know, for the Dolphins to only have given up one sack all year, how well, we were able to dominate that aspect of the game, it's well. like we've consistently been able to get to the quarterback, and that's always been the defense's Achilles heel is pass rush if we can get pass rush we're literally unstoppable that's it that's the only issue we had was the pass rush and four games in a row it hasn't been an issue and when we weren't getting to him we we're getting the hands up and batting the balls down bro the batting the balls down is just as good as a sack i mean not as great but just nah, as good because you just yeah. eliminated the whole play you're done you don't even have a, you don't even let that shit have a chance to even materialize qb hits Leonard Floyd had two QB hits. Daquan Jones had a sack and a tackle for a loss. Greg Rousseau had two sacks and two tackle for losses. And then Ed Oliver had Ooh. a sack, bro. Ed Oliver, bro. <laughs> Ed, Ed Oliver has come alive. Edward. 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 <laughs> Edward has come alive, man. And I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, man, I, maybe it's just because he's able to actually play three tech. Yo, one thing about Oliver. Um, last season he was dealing with a lot of injuries too. Didn't he have like a high ankle for like half the season? Yo, that's a good point. I really I, think that's a big part of it. It helps when you got Leonard Floyd. We talking about Leonard Floyd. It helps when you got Leonard Floyd next to you. Actually, Daquan Jones, another season. Everybody eating. I mean, hold on a minute. Say, I got a question for you. Hold on yeah, a minute. Go I got a question for you. Yeah. We talking about Leonard Floyd. What do you do when Vaughn comes back? Maybe next week. Who's getting Lost. most of the snaps? Floyd I was, or Russo? I was thinking of that. I think it's actually a good problem to have only because you have to ease Vaughn in regardless. Right? So he's not going to get a lot of snaps, especially, I, I want to say, for the, for the next, what, what six weeks maybe? And then they'll probably ease him in. But like a, like a purely healthy Vaughn Miller, I mean, it would have to be Rousseau. Oh, shit, that's a hard ass question, big fella. Because it's like, I mean, Rousseau's been balling too. Um, sheesh, I don't know, man. Yeah. That's a good ass question, Bobby. That's a good ass question. It's a good ass question. It is too because I was thinking of this the same too, right? Yo, Von Miller comes back. That's a, an additional player on the defense. Somebody has to be inactive, or somebody has to be has to sit down. Back. Yeah, I don't know, man. So like, AJ Epinesa is gonna have to sit. And he's been balling too, though. So it's like, sheesh. He, he, this is what it is. You can't have everybody, man. Puna well, Ford. I mean, you know, in... it's gonna be Kingsley, right? Kingsley Jonathan. He's gonna. He's gonna. You're right. In, Kingsley Jonathan, which is one that... like a huge loss. I mean, it is yeah. what it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, we gotta talk yeah. somebody before. And, and, yeah, yeah, somebody's gonna switch. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but right now, everybody's getting the the right amount of snaps for one another. 
Everybody's getting the right amount of touches, you know what I'm saying, to get on the field and get get after it. Von Miller coming in, you're paying that brother way too much. That's a damn good question, Bobby, because you're paying that yeah. brother way too much money to not give him the snaps he needs. And the only way you can justify him not getting the snaps is like, yo, we're going to ease you in. So just take it easy. I don't know. That's a tough one, man. Yeah. Well, you got to do yeah, that regardless. I mean, you know, they're going to ramp them up, but real quick on that too, like just looking at PFF, not that PFF is everything, but it's interesting that they grade Rousseau in 80.8, which is really good. This past game? And then, no, like overall so far. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Damn. And then they give Leonard Floyd a 68.8. So I don't know what they're seeing where, like, is that big of a discrepancy? I don't know. Yeah. Who, who's the better yeah. pass rusher? Maybe Rousseau is, like, early down. Floyd is later downs. Yo, I mean, it's it's not, just, I mean it's, I bet it, I'm, I'm assuming it's based on, you know I mean, run stopping, run fits, all that good stuff, right? So I think they see him as the overall better lineman. Stopping the run. Is here the conversation we're having right now? What the conversation? We're sitting here talking about, man, who is better? The person with four sacks or the person with three? (laughs) (laughs) Shit. You you got a good problem. Like, that's amazing. Yo, Brandon Bean, shout out to you, big fella. Shout out to you right there, Bob. Because that's an amazing problem to have. We literally have arguably the best player on defense coming back yet. Even Kingsley has been bought. It's the best part of our defense. Like, that's what's crazy. It's, it's like we finally caught up. Finally. Yes. That's what it is, man. We finally we finally have a defensive front that McDermott has been trying to build yes. and, and really and really so utilize, high. which then makes me wonder it what like we had we pretty much had the same guys last year, except for the addition of of Leonard Floyd. Yo, why the why weren't we able to do that last year? It's just reps, man. It's reps, you know, years in or, the system. Or it's Leslie Frazier. Leslie mm. Frazier is more like, we're going to get after it with just the four guys. And we're going to drop all our guys back. And you know what I mean? you We're going to depend on the guys that McDermott, you know what I mean, brought on to hey, the Bobby, squad. Hey, talk and, to me. Talk to me about, you've been bringing it up every week. Is it Frazier? Has it been Frazier this whole time? I think that's really Jeez. tough to answer. Um. I mean, it's it's funny you bring it up again because, yeah, it seems like we talk about this every week. <laughs> and again, <laughs> today, you said, you said. I felt like, God damn, Frazier, Frazier was a problem. <laughs> I was thinking that today in my head watching the game. I was like, God damn, if we go to the playoffs, like, we might not actually fuck up this time. <laughs> so what was the difference, though? What right? did you notice the difference was today as opposed to what Frazier used to do for us? That's the thing. I mean, it might not even be Frazier. It could be the it could just be players, Leonard Floyd, everybody else leveling up. Bro, Jones, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Ed Oliver going crazy. Ed Oliver going crazy playing his position, but we're actually bringing the blitz, so it allows these guys. Like, there's the aggressiveness, right? Frazier was just yeah. like, get after it with just a four, and we'll stay back because our four is good enough. McDermott's like, I know our four is good enough, but we're gonna give a little something on top of that. And now it's like everybody's cooking. So now when we because the Frazier McDermott defense is stacked the box like crazy. You don't know if we're coming, if you don't know if we're going. Uh, McDermott right, uh, is coming. I actually have another layer to that. It could be McDermott. It could be Frazier. It could. It could also be the loss or lack of or the addition of the new play caller on defense. And Bernard, he's, I mean, if you see him, at, he's like, yo, 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 you good? You good? Yo, the the communication. Bernard is locked in. Oh, you're He's right. locked in. So it could very well be that Bernard is helping the defense get in the right positions because he's seeing everything that's going on pre-snap. Bro. Whereas with Edmonds, remember, he was never the leader, right? We were always trying to get him to be the leader. Like, yo, speak up more. Where Bernard is already in. I'm locked in. Damn. Damn. You guys want to see the audio that, uh, that McDermott What's put up? out? Yeah, not go ahead. Or the, the press game conference. Uh, sorry, the I'm locker room chat. That's a heck of a win, man. Heck of a team win. When I said the word team, I mean the word team, man. All three phases. Hey, defense, we were reeling early, man. Offense did a heck of a job keeping us, keeping us in it, right? Keeping us in it. Special teams, that's a great returner. 
You guys held them down. Great, great job, man. So <laughs> now listen, that's the standard. That is the standard. That's why you won. That's why you got the results you did. You prepared. You all week long. You prepared your butts off, man. That's what you get when you do it the right way. That process. That same process every week. That same leadership every week. Demanding that from yourself. Hey, never satisfied, man. Right? No, no, no. As good as that look, we could be better. That's the scary part. Right? We left out there on defense. We left out there too. Special teams included. We stay here. We focus in on the details. We keep chipping away. Right? Let's just keep getting better each and every week. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, wait, one time. Shot time on that one right there, baby. One, two, three. That's me. <laughs> Get in there, boy. <laughs> you, you said you were setting that up. <laughs> Go ahead. That was beautiful right there. Huge shout out to Dolphins fans. Huge shout out to Fins Up. I don't know what it was, but this Bills and Dolphins rivalry, especially on Twitter, especially between Bills Mafia and Fins Up, is a thing. Yo, it was lit this week. Dolphins yeah. fans was really excited this week. Y'all really, really sat there and thought y'all really had a chance. That's the crazy part. Y'all really exactly. was sitting there was like, yo, we scored 70. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all going to use that 70 for a minute. And I listen, I respect it. But we try to tell you our defense isn't what y'all faced. And it's the fact that we were able to dominate y'all exactly how y'all thought y'all was going to dominate us. Man, listen, remember who the fuck we had. What? <laughs> if, if we if we did lose this game, what what do you think the narrative would have been if we lost this game? No matter what the score would have been, let's just say we lost by one point or we lost by seventy. Doesn't matter. What would have the narrative have been? Dolphins are the the cream of the crop. They're the real deal, right? They've caught up to the Bills, right? For sure. Um, what else would it, what else would have been? It would have been like you know with the Bills now are zero and two in the AFC East conference, right? How do they dig themselves out? They're going up against the Jaguars team that just lost, but now they're on the road. Like it would have been crazy the type of stuff that would have been have to have, having to to deal with. But now that the Bills have won this one, the narrative for and it's tough because the Dolphins become now yeah, you weren't as bad as you thought you were. You put up 70 points against a team that almost lost to the damn Bears <laughs> and then had to come back against the Bears. Yo, right? you want to know something real quick, Rico? I mean, I mean, you make a good point. The narrative would have been horrible for the bill. Terrible. This is a narrative that we're actually starting now to create. And I'm going to say it right here on the barber shop so everyone knows. It's looking like every single week we're making the team that we're facing question everything they're doing. We had the Jets over here, shut them down. We hurt their quarterback again. My bad. But shut that whole damn offense down. Raiders, same thing. They're questioning. Listen, what the hell's going on? The damn, the damn commanders had them question everything. Now we had the damn Dolphins question. Wait a minute, is our team actually this good? That's how dominant we've been all year. Huge shout out to the Bills defense and huge shout out to the Bills, man. Overall, we're having teams question if they should even be a team. Bobby, what what would you what would what would be the narrative if we lost this this one? Like, what would it? What would be the one that stands out the most? It would be that there's a new king in the AFC East. It would be Tua on top of Allen. You know, that's probably the biggest one. Um, like what you were saying, Pierre, and even the Commanders, they came back and almost beat the Eagles this week. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. They I think did. that game went to overtime. Wow. And big shout yeah. out to Pierre for that breakdown of the Dolphins. That tweet that Bro, went viral. You put your foot in that <laughs> shit, man. Yo, let me bring it up right now. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and share the damn screen and really, really give me show y'all because that shit was <laughs> the fuck on. Yo, like you, every you last put your minute. foot in that shit, man. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me bring that shit up, man. Let me bring that shit up. Because again, put some fucking respect on my name, man. You know yeah, yeah, Bobby, good call, there, on that, that shit, good call on that shit. Good call on that shit. You shout out to all the content creators, but put some respect on my name, big fella. Get the Ali. You can't be no more perfect than what the hell I was right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. That shit did numbers too, boy. You guys see this right here? Let me go ahead and and fucking zoom that bitch in so y'all really see that bitch. 
Okay, you see that shit? Look, I said it. The first point, I thought I was going to see an aerial assault and came away surprised. We didn't see an aerial assault today. Second point, the Dolphins are, in fact, a heavy running team. They rely on the running game working to then use that element to cause illusions preset, right? We shut that shit down, and it seemed as if they were struggling. The more disciplined team, the Patriots, were not fooled by many of the gimmicks, exactly how we weren't fooled by none of that bullshit. All three offenses the D or, or, or the Dolphins faced hooked. <laughs> hooked. Exactly how the hell we did. All of them. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's go back to the last two points. The Dolphins offense isn't as dangerous <laughs> as the optics want us to believe. Stopping the running game, blah, blah, blah. Right? But this is the last point where I nailed it, and I'm so happy I nailed this one. This was the main one. With all that said, the Bills offense should absolutely feast on this defense. I'll be surprised if we don't put up 40. <laughs> Yo, you, that's, 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 the, that's the, the icing on the on the cake right there. That's the icing right there. <laughs> <laughs> that boy feel nice about that tweet. You feel that's, good, huh? Oh, this is easy. I'm going to do this every week. Right. Every week I'm trying to hook y'all up. Listen to your man. <laughs> Listen to your boys. I got you. Remember who the fuck we have, big fella. Golly. Yo, don't, I want to say something. Don't think I didn't see your your ass on Friday's uh, uh, pod when I was with Kevin, and then and then this guy tried to sneak in. Yo, Rico's Rico's forced to for to to pick a win for the Bills. <laughs> you asshole! This guy, <laughs> he's forced to take a win. He doesn't want to say the Bills are gonna win. He has to say that. Yo, <laughs> you know the chat was sitting there looking like. Okay, what you gonna do, big fella? What you gonna do? Because we know you're gonna pick against them. That's what you do. Rico. You know what? I try to tell you every week. We fucking remember who the hell we have. I feel good about this game. There's, there's something about the Dolphins that I always feel good about playing the Dolphins. I just don't yeah. trust Tua. Yeah. Against our team, I don't trust Tua to like go off. I just don't. There's something about Tua that just, you don't do it for me. The Dolphins defense, like if you're a Dolphins fan, you're sick if Josh Allen's coming to town. I would hate to face this guy. It's like it's no different when Tom Brady came through. Tom Brady had the same effect on us. This guy was coming to town. You're like, shit, yo, we got Tom Brady. Yo, we got to be on our shit, guys. Yo, everybody get their shit together. I mean, and Tom Brady does Tom Brady shit. Josh Allen is in that category. He's in that category now. He's doing what Josh Allen does. He's that He's that dude. You know what's funny is when when we used to play Tom Brady like that, like we we always thought that there'd be a chance that we could win that game too. <laughs> and that's exactly how dolphin fans think now. I mean, look at how they're talking. It's it's crazy to think that Yo. you can talk all that shit when you've won like one game out of the last 20. And and this is what let me let me add on to that cuz you got to listen to dolphins fans cuz they they I'm really sorry, do loser. think they really do think they got it until the yep. the reality starts to set in. Listen to this. Let me let me set up the narrative. This is the 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 dolphins fan that came through nikki smokes that came through and nikki bumped smokes. the chef and everybody was everybody was outraged because he was such a disrespectfully this that and the third and he's feeling real good well i'm gonna tell you right now man he ain't feeling good now check this out i fucking hate this team <laughs> i fucking hate this team there's there's children behind me. I'm in a suite. They might kick me out. I don't give a fuck. This team makes me want to die. <laughs> Every fucking year, it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be different. We didn't fucking be, we're getting fucking molly walked. I'm sorry. I got kids in here. I got kids in here. I'm I'm a kid myself. Yo, You're making them rethink shit. I'm just a sorry loser. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm just, I'm just a sorry loser. Jeez. It's like you do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over, and you, and you think it's different. What did we do last year? Three and L, three and L, and lose. That's it. Clap them cheeks, baby. It's over. Listen, man. Offense fans had to really think this one through. They really had to think this one through. Like these content like said, creators, no. they they really thought they had some. Yeah, 
I'm just happy that we that we did what we did. And it wasn't even a close game, so you can be able to say, well, if this would have happened, then we would have. No, no. It was at, okay, I'll say that there was a small, small, small point in the game where I was like, oh, okay, we might have a game. And you guys already know, you know, when they were, it was score for score for score. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> After we were able to hold them and then we scored to go up at that point, there was no point in the game where I felt any type of worry. Because we have not looked bad all season. Again, that week one loss, we know exactly how we lost that game. And that's the frustrating part. Because, again, it's the week one losses are always the hardest losses because it lingers for weeks, right? Everyone wants to reference that one because it was the first one. Where if you look yeah. at exactly how we lost it, you're like, wait a minute. We really wasn't supposed to lose that one either. So I'm glad that we were able to blow these teams out just to make sure everyone knows we're still that team and you still have to catch up to us. The Bills are that squad, man. And this, this win was a big one. It solidifies it. And now national media is going to have to, no choice but to just, you know what I mean? Just walk back what they were cupped, kept on saying about these damn Dolphins. Okay, what's walk the narrative now, though, Rico? Because you mentioned if we were to, you know, lost what's the narrative. Okay. Now that we won, what should be the narrative? The, now that we won, the, the, the Bills never should have been, like that was a fluke loss to the Jets. They're still that same team that's supposed to do it. They're still a damn contender. They, yo, there was folks that had us not even making the playoffs. I think it was Chris Sims. Chris Sims that had us missing the playoffs. Are you, are you dumb? What and happened I, to Big I, Blue? I fuck with Chris Sims. What happened to Big Blue? Oh. <laughs> what happened to that boy Blue? Oh, my boy, my, yo, my boy Blue cooking. That's what he's doing. That's what boy Blue cooking. So Marcel Lujak, uh, I guess they were interviewing Tyreek Hill in his locker room. I don't know if you guys saw what he said. He goes, uh, he said, the Bills played cover two throughout the game and their corners, and in quotes, had no fear in their eyes because they knew they had help over top. That's, that is the Taylor Rapp slash Micah Hyde. When you know you nice back there, when you know you 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 can you can do whatever you need to do down here, bro, you're good. You're good. You're good. Micah Hyde changes his defense so much. He covers so much on his defense. And when Tyreek Hill's like, yo, they had no fear, man. They didn't care what we were doing. That's AKA slash, yo, we didn't adjust. <laughs> That's what he's saying. I can read through yeah. the lines. We didn't adjust to 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 you know what I mean to try to take advantage of that shit. They just they just had us. You're damn right we had you. We were ready for your asses, man. Walk on the Buffalo. Okay, you know, we're not playing no games with y'all, man. We get it. We've seen this dance before. I We've broke it down in game. Before. I broke it down in game where I was like, if you look at all the time that the Dolphins actually scored, it was the first two drives when you can make an argument that they, that they were still going off their scripted plays. Then it was the drive out of halftime where that's normally scripted as well. So you only scored on scripted fucking plays, big fella. There you go. We pretty much shut you down the rest of the game. That was beautiful. Bro, we shut did that thing. Yo, I, I'm happy with the way we played, bro. There was like, there's not much I can say I can point that was nasty. I'm gonna tell you this though. I don't know about y'all. You y'all remember you see that one when uh, that one catch that Dawson Knox made? Oh, I see you laughing, bro. He took Javon Holland is the is the Dolphins best player. He took Javon Holland and put his ass in a coffin. He put his ass in a coffin and then got more yards. I think for a first down on top of that. Yo, Fan. on the replay, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna get that clip and I'm gonna Bro. post the clip so y'all see it. It's not only that he did that. If you look at the replay of it, oh my! Because I was watching, I was like, oh, the replay showed. My man's nuts in his face. Oof. Then his face was in his ass. Was in nuts his ass, <laughs> fella. Like he literally, <laughs> yo, know, it was beautiful. Like shut your ass, get your ass up out of here, big fella. While you're talking about the offense, I mean, and new additions. You know, the two new guards is massive. A massive addition to the offense, because I mean, even today, like Christian Wilkins. Non-existent. 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 
defensive tackles are getting taken care of. We run in the ball. I mean, that's another huge, huge addition. There was a play where Torrance was was getting he engaged, pop, and he was getting backed up a little bit. Then he, I don't know what he did. We turned up overdrive and drove and drove and drove and pancaked this dude. I was like, fam. Oh, snap. yo, I don't know if you noticed it. Did you notice how much we were we were winning on the line of scrimmage, bro? We could we if we wanted to we could we could run that football very well. Yep, yep. Torrance. Freaking Mitch Morse got in that bitch. Yo, this old line is the best that's been in the Allen era. It's about time. Yeah. Yo, it's about time. It's like you said, it's about time because it's like our issue has always been the interior of the line, right? And I mean, we tried for years to get that thing figured out. Right now, we hand yep. we handle business. We handled it. And this was a big division game. And uh, it looked great, man. I mean, Josh had a freaking 158.3 passer rating. It's a perfect game. Perfect game. Four complete, four incompletions, four touchdown passes. Actually, four incompletions, five touch, five touchdowns today. Oh, this boy was a dog today, bro. Hey, Rico. Was, even Trent Scherf was getting in that action. I'm gonna need you to say it right quick before we go. Remember who we have. Go ahead and say it real quick. Go ahead. Oh shit, we know who we have. Go ahead and say it. Remember who the fuck we have. Because I need to, I need folks to know also. This is a new Bills team, man. With, with well, it's coached differently. These guys are hungrier, they're nastier, and they yes. understand the assignment. These fucking yes. guys understand the assignment. Yes, bro, they get it. Yes, but but we're about oh, to now. We Fuck, man, you, you, you was on the wrong. No, way. no, 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 no. We, this is facts. We're about to go through adversity now because we didn't talk about it yet, and we have to talk about it before we do. Trey White's gone, fam. Yo, that's a big blow to the defense. Bobby, you know this is a big blow to the defense. Yo. For sure. And, and you know what? You I hear the, the Eminem song. Guess who's back? Back <laughs> again, Dane Jackson. Oh, Boy, man. Dane Jackson back in the saddle. I thought you were going to say Kair. You know like, what? I mean, oh, oh, quick second. <laughs> Dane Jackson is serviceable. So, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't doubt that Dane Jackson is going to be pretty damn good oh it's a damn shame yo man it was a tough blow man just i mean watching the game i'm over here streaming having an amazing fucking time taking all these fucking shots yeah loving life and then boom just seeing his reaction where you're like oh okay you wouldn't react like that if it wasn't a massive injury that right there it was super deflating right because i mentioned i was like yeah you know i mean we can be able to still you know do our thing without trey but, you know, what losing Trey does is in the playoffs, in that crucial play, in that crucial possession, it's like if a big play happens, you're going to be like, damn, if Trey was there, that probably wouldn't have happened. It's like it just takes that one play. Does and, it. You know what I'm saying? And that's where it's like, damn it, man. He worked his way back to becoming, you know, the all pro Trey that we're used to. And, and yep. it just... Definitely. That's big, man. That was big. It's a big blow. So big. now chemistry, because like now you have like that confidence that he was talking about. Yo, they played cover two and they had no fear in their eyes. Now it's a little different now. You yeah. mean Dane Jackson? I'm not saying Dane Jackson is a total liability because he's not like like Bobby said. Like he's still he's still a serviceable corner. Is like, Christian is, Benford good though? Because I mean, I mean, he was I mean he, he came back he in the game. Good. Oh, he did. Okay, good. Yeah, he, came, he, he came back in the game because I was like, "What? Christian Beffer's back?" Yeah, and I was like, "Oh yeah, but yeah. Trey White's out, so he's got to play." Because he came back just doing special teams only, and then oh. Trey went. Trey went out. He was like, "Oh shit, I got to get in there." Yeah. So now it's going to be the Benford, Dane, and Kair show. This is pretty much last year. Yeah. This is last year's defensive backfield, but with Micah Hyde here. So maybe Micah Hyde. Is is that piece that keeps these boys together? And Poyer's definitely gonna come back as well. So we'll have those two boys. So the dynamic changes, but we we are right. That's Johnson big... went out as two. So I mean, it, 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 like without a hamstring or a cramp. I mean, I don't know what that either. So I mean, it, it was a bad game as far as injuries in this game, man. I, I, you know, because we lost. I mean, we could have lost a couple solid ass pieces, man. So bro, Sheesh. that's the way it is, man. At first, I was like, yo, get Josh Allen out of here. <laughs> but, but I was like, 
yo, it's, it's 14 minutes. We just started the fourth quarter. We can't. We got to keep his. We got to keep his ass in there. Yeah, yeah man, I that Trey White, that Trey White is a is a big loss, but uh, this is where we're gonna find out. Next man up, if it works, Kyrie Elam. Boy, you gotta step up now because you ain't gonna be in, on the inactive list anymore. Now, if they put his ass on the inactive list again, bro, they don't fuck with him. I don't know, Bobby. Can you see them putting on putting him on inactive <laughs> again? No, absolutely not. It can't. But you know what? I don't. I'm really not sure who's behind him. Cam Lewis, and uh, what about that Jamarcus dude from UB? Oh, yeah, yeah Jamarcus team? Ingram. I think it's Ingram. I know he got he's pretty good. In, 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 yeah, he is pretty the good. They, they kept him on the special uh, on the uh, the um, what do you call it? practice squad? So I can see them bringing him up potentially. Yeah, yeah, he's on practice squad. Yep. Yeah, so I think it's Ingram, and I think they like him a lot too. So I could see that definitely happening. So I mean, listen, man. It's a shitty situation to be in because that that yo we could have been prime man having Von Miller come back, but it's typically it's just like this man. man. When we think we roll it, and then there's some bullshit happens. You're like come on, son. Like like Bobby said, they don't like super teams. <laughs> the NFL guys don't like super teams. <laughs> That's true. That's true, man. We were about to get super. You know who the Bills are though? The Bills are the Golden State Warriors. Coming back. Right? Von Miller. Yeah, that's right. Like we're the Golden State Warriors because it's like we. We kind of, you know, groomed our own damn, damn fucking super team, right? You, we drafted our own damn near and fucking groomed into greatness. And right now the Dallas Cowboys just put a beat down on the Patriots. What the hell? Yo, you know what the beautiful three. thing is? We're over here running the ball, and I mentioned it on stream as well. It's like we haven't really had to use Josh Allen's legs for real, for real. So it's like, dog, knowing that we still have that in the back, that's still in the back, <laughs> right? We just haven't had to use that shit. We haven't had to use a lot of our damn plays that we've always been able to do. So it's like, yo, it's this funny. is different. We're dominating y'all without really showing our hand. Oh my and, it, God. and it looks like Josh Allen is actually embracing this new, this new way of, of, of playing football with not having to to run the football. Did you see that shit he tried to pull today, though? It pissed me off. Do you know where I'm going with this? Because I thought about that. I was like, oh, Rico, this is what Rico was talking about. Go ahead. Where, where am I going with this? It was with it was with the uh, the personal foul that he tried to draw. First he of all, that's personal things. foul. He always does okay. this shit. Yo, knock okay, it off. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, back. Stop go ahead, but there was, remember, there was, a time, there was a time where we, and Bobby, if you, there was a pure replay, and you saw it, on James Cook's touchdown. On James Cook's touchdown. All right. It was supposed to be, it looked like it was supposed to be an R, not an RPO, but like a um what am I trying to say here? Uh like a read, a read, like it was like a, a read yeah. op, option read, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. He, you okay, okay, do you remember it? He gave it to James Cook. This motherfucker was about to pull it and be selfish <laughs> and fucking take it for himself. And James Cook is like, yo, give me that shit, man. <laughs> he, he trying to vulture a touchdown for me. So they almost fumbled it because Josh was gonna pull it back. Yeah, Damn, yeah. just give him the fucking touchdown. And just yeah. give it to him. But he was Stop. about to pull it back. If you go watch that replay, no, you I can saw tell it. that. What happened? No, no, yeah, no, no, I saw that one. Yep, you're yeah, right. Yeah, man, just you're like, right. yo, Josh, you don't got to have everything, man. You don't got to. Just play with it. Like, it's it's like it's like in his head, like, yo, I need to get this. Let me Thanks. fake the run and I'll take it myself. No, bro, you get yours, man. Give it to James Cook. It's his first touchdown of the year. Let him have it. Asshole. Hey, Bobby, any closing thoughts, big fella? <laughs> How you feeling, man, man? I don't really think so. Um... Just a big shout out to you, man. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, big fella. It is day? Birthday day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> yes, I thought it was, day. It was the third. What are we what are you today? Huh? I thought you were October 3rd. Oh, it's the first. The first. <laughs> no, boy, the first of the month, baby. Yo, happy birthday, big dog. Oh, my big gosh, man. <laughs> Yo, take a shot for you. You got to take a shot. You got to take a shot. I'm going to do it your way, too. I'm going to do it your way, too. Yeah, there it is. That's how you take a shot. Yo, what are you sipping on? Anyway? What's up? What are you sipping on? To the whole the Jose Cuervo or what? And that Tito's, man. Tito's is legit. Yo, Tito's is your Tito's. shit, huh? It's my shit, man. It's my shit. Because again, it gets you right, but it doesn't mess you up the next day. That's why I like it. That's why I like it. Yo, dog. I don't like taking that shots today, boy. I, I hate it. The saucy on the show. Dog, I was yep. I was feeling nice because it was a lot of fucking <laughs> shots. That's all I got. Damn, here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back he was the saucy today. Oh, yeah. He was saucy today. Yo, happy birthday, man. Jay, y'all have fella. birthdays mad close. It was wifey's birthday. Then it was it was Libra. Bobby's dad. It was yours today, boy. 
Good shit. I have my, my cousin <laughs> and my best friend. Their shit was the, the 29th. Yo, y'all clustered together, man. It's that team Libra, baby. Libra. <laughs> yo, does it make you wonder, like, yo, am I too old for this shit? Yo, I thought about that shit this morning. Like, dog, this is crazy, dog. This, this, this is the fuck am I doing, big fella? But hey, <laughs> shout out to the pills, baby. I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop, bro. I'm gonna tell you, man. This there are times where I'm sitting here, like, yo, how long am I do? How long? Am I, how long am I gonna do this shit, man? For real, I'm sitting there going, <laughs> I'm cussing up a storm on this thing. I was like, yo, I gotta yo, grow up. I'm gonna give y'all a story. I'm gonna give y'all a story, right? This is hilarious. So this morning. I was like, all right, yeah, it's the birthday, right? So I'm about to go on stream today, so I have to figure out, you know, it's my birthday, so, you know, I, I, I kind of want to come correct, right? And you guys already know I got the gray hairs. So I'm like, dog, I mean, I'm gray's coming in pretty gray right now, big fella. Let me go ahead and dye my shit so I can look younger on my birthday, so you're going to be able to really... <laughs> so I dyed my shit this morning to make sure I was ready to... I, see, I haven't got there yet. I haven't got the I haven't got the grays. I got a couple like one oh, here, one coming. there, but like nothing crazy just yet. It's coming. It's coming. And this yeah. one's like this one upstairs is like, no, 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 let it grow through. I was like, I can't. Like if one comes in, it doesn't look good. I gotta pluck it. Now, if they all come in at the same time, so be it. Okay. I, Bobby okay. don't have got grazy. Bobby, you got grazy yet? No, nah, I don't have no gray yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. He's still not a young yet. buck. He's still a young man. That's what he, that's what it is. I mean, he's still a young he's still, he's still a young buck. I got like I got I keep getting like one or two, and I'm like, no, no, not. Not today. Not happening. But yeah, man, happy birthday, big dog. Thanks, man. Appreciate birthday. it, big fella. 